Simple science. What are reversible and irreversible changes? Liquid water can be changed into gas by heating it up so that it evaporates. This change is reversible because we can cool the water vapor down so that it condenses back into liquid water. Evaporation and condensation are reversible changes because we get back the original material we started with. Similarly, freezing and melting are reversible changes. If we cool liquid water down below zero degrees Celsius, it freezes into solid ice. By raising the temperature above zero, the ice melts to form liquid water again. If you mix salt with water, it will dissolve to form a salt solution. Dissolving is a reversible change because the water and salt can be separated by evaporating the water from the salt solution, leaving crystalline salt behind. The water vapor can be collected as it condenses on a cool surface to recover purified liquid water. When other materials are mixed together, changes occur that are difficult to reverse. For example, if cement is mixed with water, it sets permanently into solid concrete. Concrete doesn't melt like ice, and we can't evaporate off the water to get back the cement, so this is an irreversible change. If you mix bicarbonate of soda with vinegar, it produces bubbles of the gas carbon dioxide. The fact that a new material has been formed is a sign that this is an irreversible change. Burning is yet another irreversible change. We burn materials such as oil, gas, coal, and wood to get heat. But at the same time, new materials such as ash, carbon dioxide, and other potentially harmful gases are produced. So we must be careful when we burn things, because once the burning starts, it's difficult to go back the other way.